Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well today and I am back for another tutorial. I had posted a poll in my community tab about a few weeks ago asking you what you would like me to create for you and you decided on a hooded long cardigan and I oblige. So here is the beautiful hooded cardigan. I love it so much. It came out perfect I think. It has a little cable stitch in it. No worries, I will take you through it slowly but surely today's difficulty level I would say is intermediate light. The stitches you need to know to create these are chain, double crochet, front post treble, back post treble and a little bit of decreasing and of course I will explain each and every stitch as they come no worries. I also added a pocket just in case you wanted the option and on the pocket I gave you an extra cable stitch which is a little different than the one that you have on the cardigan so just as an extra if you want but of course that is your choice you can make the cardigan as short or as long as you wish you are in control I am merely a guide giving you options. Okay, how are you? How is the fall going for you? I actually have a bronchitis. Yes, I have a guest this month and he's visiting and he doesn't want to leave. So yeah, that is my little friend and it's uh, right here. <laughs> if you have any remedies, natural remedies that you can share with me, let me know. I am having ginger, fresh ginger that I'm putting in my tea and honey. But if you know anything else that can help, let me know. I am sucking on a little uh, throat candy right now so I can uh, talk to you and post this video. I wanted to upload it this week for you. If you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? It's totally free. Click on the subscribe button right here and don't hesitate to click on the little bell. If you click on that little bell next to the subscribe button, it will ask you three options. I think click on the all and then you will be notified every time I post something new because I have so many other things planned for this year. Can you believe we're in November? I know it's cliche, but it is going so fast, so fast. Today in New England was the first really cold day. I let my dog out today and I was like, <laughs> time for your Uggs and your big sweaters. And I love it. I'm not complaining. The only thing I'm complaining is my health. That stinks, 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 poo poo stinks. So here is the beautiful hoodie. I absolutely love this yarn. I will put all the information about the specific yarn I used in the info box down below as usual. And I will try to give you substitution yarns. So if you live in another country and you can find it, you have options, okay? In the info box. Also, today, somebody, one of you will be able to win all the material necessary to create this beautiful long sleeve hooded cardigan. So that means uh, all the yarn necessary, the crochet hook, the scissors, the stitch markers and the tapestry needle. And to participate, super easy, you comment in the comment box down below and that is it. And then next week I will tell you who I randomly chose and voila, as easy as one, two, three. If you do not have enough of me and you want more, come and find me on my social media right there. It's a new crochet everywhere. So here is a, the beautiful cardigan. I really really like the way it came out. The cable stitch is really mimicking a knitting cable stitch but I think it's way easier the way we do it in crochet and of course I will show you exactly how to do it. In fact in this tutorial I have two different cables one which is the border of your cardigan and a different one for the pocket because it's just easier to make a different kind. It would have been it's too heavy to have a thick thick cable on the pocket. So I will show you how to make two different cable stitches and you will know it forever and ever. Please come and visit me on my community tab on YouTube. That is where I post the polls about what to create for you next. I usually give you three options and then that helps me know what you want me to create because after all I am here and I am here for you and I'm aiming to please and it really helps me to know what you want me to create for you. And voila, that is it. So if you are interested in creating this beautiful hooded cardigan with a pocket or without, that's your choice, then keep on watching. And in the meantime, happy crochet. I hope you are all doing well and I will see you next time. Bye. 
All right, so for this tutorial, I used three skins of yarn from the brand Stitch Studio by Nicole in La Paz, and the color was mauve. Unfortunately, I just found out that it's sold out. So the substitution that I would suggest is the Loops and Threads Sparkle Lux uh, in any color that you wish. They have amazing colors available. All the information will be in the info box down below. It's a beautiful yarn as well. I had talked about it in my fall yarn favorite. It has a little bit of sparkle in it too, so it's perfect for the holidays. You will also need a crochet hook 8 millimeters, some scissors, a tapestry needle, and two stitch markers. All right, take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. We are going to make chains, 83 chains in total. We are beginning from the bottom all the way going up and we will be working on the back and both of the front sides at the same time. Now you're going to add three chains. So you will have 86 chains and then in the third chain from your hook, you're going to make a double crochet. Make a double crochet in the next chain and in the next and in the next. So this is your first row and for your first row, you will double crochet all along of your row. At the end of your row, you will have 83 double crochets. Here you go. This is your first row. Make a double crochet in the last chain of your first row. You are going to chain three and turn your work around. You will always begin your row with a chain three and that will count as your first double crochet. Now we're going to make the cable. The cables are made at the beginning and the end of each row and they are made using uh, front post treble and back post treble. I will show you how to make them and they are worked always around the post from the previous row. So here you're going to skip three stitches and around the fourth one, around the post, you're going to make a front post treble. And here is how you make your front post treble. You yarn over twice, then you go from the front to the back around your post, up from the front to the back, you yarn over and you go right back to that post. And right now you will have four loops on your hook. One, two, three, four. You're going to yarn over through two of the loops on your hook. You will have three loops on your hook. And then you will yarn over again through two loops on your hook. You will have two loops left on your hook and then yarn over and through the last two loops on your crochet hook. And that is how you make a front post treble. Now we're going to go to the next post. So the fifth post from the beginning and you're going to repeat making another front post treble just the same way we have done it. Yarn over twice. Go to the next post and go around from the front to the back around that post. Yarn over and back through the post. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over through two of the loops on your hook. You have three loops left on your hook. Yarn over again through two loops on your hook. You will have two loops left on your hook. And then yarn over through all the loops left on your hook. And that is your second front post treble made.
and you are going to repeat that for the next stitch around the next post creating your third front post treble right there exactly the same way we had done it and now to create the cable you are going to go back to the three stitches we had skipped and you're going to go back to the first post right after your chain three your double crochet right there and you're going to yarn over twice and you're going to do a front post triple crochet around that first post there right there which is really the second one because the chain three counted as your first go from the front to the back it's a little tricky but you can do it And you repeat the same steps you just went back to the stitch you had skipped then you're going to go to the second stitch you had skipped and do the same thing around the post a front treble front post treble crochet and then you're going to go to the third stitch you had skipped it's right there you have to push all this everything aside and it's right there peekaboo and you're going to go yarn over twice and around from the front to the back same thing around that third stitch we had skipped there you go this is the first step of your cable and you can see which one is the next stitch by looking at the post from the previous row the one from the cable is kind of going to the right 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 there and this is the one you want to double crochet in so double crochet in the next stitch and then you're going to now double crochet all along your second row until you have seven stitches left and I will meet you once you have seven stitches left. Meet you at the end of your second row when you have seven stitches left. All right, here we are. We have seven stitches left. We have double crocheted our way to those last seven stitches. You're going to skip three stitches and around the fourth one, do a front post treble crochet around the post from row one, the same way we had done it. And you're going to go to the next stitch and do another front post treble crochet right there around the post you should have two stitches left in your row two and here you go around the next post again a front post treble crochet and then in the last and then now you're going to go back to the first stitch you had skipped. Remember, we skipped three stitches. One, two, three. And you see the post, the first post there, underneath the stitch we had skipped. You're going to do a front post treble crochet around that post there, the first one we had skipped. Really repeating the same thing we had done at the cable at the beginning of our second row. And again, do a front post treble crochet in around the next post, the second stitch we had skipped.
and then around the third one, the next one, again, front post treble crochet. Okay, and now you're going to go to the last stitch of your work. And you're going to make a double crochet right on top of the chain three we had made at the beginning. Well, the first stitch really we had made at the beginning of our row. And that is how you're going to end your second row. All right, we are at row three. You're going to chain three and turn your work around. And now we're going to make back post treble crochets. We're going to crochet the stitches as they come. So you have those three posts right there. You're going to yarn over your crochet twice. And then instead of coming from the front to the back, you're going to come from the back to the front around the first post from the previous row. See, from the back to the front, pushing that post to the back of your work. And then yarn over and right back through the post. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over, and then you repeat the same step through two loops, yarn over through two loops again, and yarn over through two loops again. So the only difference is that instead of going from the front to the back, you're going from the back to the front, and that's a back post treble crochet. Let's do it again. So this is your chain three. This is the first post you just finished. And now let's do a back post treble crochet around the second post right there. Yarn over twice. Remember from the back to the front, pushing your little post to the back of your work right now. Yarn over through the post, yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two loops again and yarn over through two loops. So really we are pushing our post really to the front of our work because the front of our work, the right side is on the other side, not facing us. Okay, so repeat for the third post. Yarn over twice. And back post treble crochet around the next post from the previous row. Right now you have uh, chain three and then three back post treble crochet. And you're going to make three more back post treble crochet around the next three posts from the previous row. And you can see them, they're facing you, they're very clear, those three ones that are coming diagonally to the left. And that's the other side of your work. All right, so let's do three back post treble crochet around the three next posts from the previous row. Here is one. From the back to the front, don't forget. And now again in around the next uh, post, you're going to make another back post treble crochet. And your last back post treble crochet right there. So you have six back post double crochets in total. And basically you're going to repeat those two rows, row two and row three for a number of rows. And that is going to be the two front panels and the back that we're working on. We're creating that beautiful border at the edge of your cardigan. And now find the next stitch and double crochet all along until you reach the other cable. So seven stitches before the end we're going to do the cable at the other end of your work. Repeating the same steps, guys. Making back post treble as they come. Three and three. First these ones, right there, and then this one.
All right, so continue double crochet till the end of your row. And when you have seven stitches left, time to do your back post double crochet. First around, uh, here is your last double crochet. And here you go. And back post treble crochet six times. And once you have your six back post treble crochet, this is what it will look on the right side of your work. You're going to make a double crochet on top of the first three chains you had made at the beginning of your row three. That's it, you're done with your row three. For row four, you're going to chain three, turn your work around, and we are going to skip the first three stitches and you're going to go and do front post treble crochet around the fourth post one to the fourth post one two three around the next three posts we're going to make front post treble crochet so you skipped three posts around the fourth one we're making the front post treble crochet around the fifth one again front post treble crochet See what we're doing? We are creating this beautiful twisted cable. Here you go, another front post treble crochet around the sixth one. And then you are going to go back to the first one we had skipped and make a front post treble crochet around the first one you skipped, the second and the third. Voila, then you're going to go to the next uh, stitch, which is a double crochet and you're going to double crochet in it right there. And then you're going to double crochet all along that fourth row until you have seven stitches left and you're going to do the other cable. And here you are at the end of your fourth row. You have seven stitches left and you're going to skip three stitches and you're going to make your front post treble crochet around the fourth, the fifth and the sixth. Skipping three stitches and leaving them for the next step. Making your twisted cable front post treble crochet style. You're doing it guys so proud of you love taking you on this crochet journey with me love it 
All right, so three front post treble crochet made. You had skipped three stitches to do that. You're going to go back to the first stitch you had skipped and make a front post treble crochet around uh, the stitch you, the first one first, you had skipped, then the second and then the third. So three more front post treble crochet to create that beautiful cable of ours. Such a cute cable. Front post treble, back post double, back post treble are really cool stitches. You can create so many different things with them. All right, so that's the second stitch we had skipped. Front post uh, treble crochet. And then the third stitch we had skipped. Have to dig for it a little bit, but it's right there. It's waiting for you to make a front post treble around it. Voila! Cable done for this row, and then the only thing you have left for this fourth row in two is to make a double crochet on top of the chain three. Don't forget to do that. Voila! And you know what you're going to have to do for the fifth row. You're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work around. See how this beautiful pattern is being created? I love it. And now again, we're going to repeat row three. We're going to make a back post treble crochet around the three forced posts right there as they present themselves to us. And then around the three next ones. Back post treble crochet around the three posts right here. One. Two. And the third one right there. And again, back post uh, treble crochet around the three next ones. Remember coming from the back to the front this time. Awesome! And now you know what to do. You're going to double crochet all along this fifth row and I will meet you once you have seven stitches left for the second cable, which will be exactly the same as we did now. Making back post treble around the six posts from the previous row and then a double crochet in the last stitch. Here you go, finish this fifth row with me, making a back post double crochet, six of them in total. Et voilà, and now you're going to end this fifth row with a double crochet on top of the chain three. And you are going to repeat row four and five again and again and again. Here is the picture of the cardigan on me. So that's the length I want it. And for your information, I am five feet three. For me, until the beginning of the sleeves opening, I had 25 rows in total. So you can add or subtract 
if you want a longer cardigan you add a few rows and if you want a shorter you can make it shorter too okay All right, so now you are at your row 26 and for row 26, we're going to do the front panel, the first front panel. We're going to work on a short row. So you're going to do your uh, cable pattern as usual. So skipping three stitches and doing three front post treble crochet and then working on the three stitches you had skipped the usual. But then once you're done with that, you're going to only double crochet 16 stitches. So you're going to make 16 double crochet after your cable. Once you have 16 double crochet, you're going to chain three and turn your work around. And we are going to work on your 27th row. Chain three, turn your work around. And now you're going to make 12 double crochets. And you will stop when you have three stitches before your cable. And I will show you what to do for this 27th row. All right, you have three stitches left, you see? right before your cable. What we're going to do is decrease, turning two stitches into one, two double crochets into one. Turn over through the stitch, yarn over and back. You have three loops on your hoop, yarn over and back. You have two loops left on your hook. You're not finishing that double crochet. Yarn over and go to the next stitch, pass your crochet hook through the stitch, yarn over and back. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over through two loops and then yarn over again. And this time you're going to go through all the loops on your crochet. And just like that, you turned two double crochets into one. And then you're going to do one last double crochet in the last stitch before your cable. And you decreased. What we're doing now is creating the little uh, kind of V collar that we want to have for the cable collar that we are creating right now. We want it to be a little bit on a slant, on a diagonal angle to create that opening for your collar. And now what is left to do for this 27th row is your cable. You just need to do six back post treble crochet plus a double crochet on top of the chain three. Alrighty, for row 28, what you're going to do is chain three and turn your work around. As usual, you're going to make your cable and then you are going to double crochet all the way until the end of your 28th round. 
Now you have one stitch less than uh, the row before. Remember, you decreased one. At the end of your 28th row, you chain three. You turn your work around. Now it's time for your 29th row. And you are going to double crochet until you have three stitches left before your cable. Once you have three stitches before your cable, you are going to decrease, turning the two next double crochet into one, the same way we had done before, and then making a double crochet, making your cable, and then a double crochet in the last one. So six back post treble, and that is it. You have made your two decreased. And then after those two decreased for the rest of your work, which is row 29 to row 33, you are going to continue in pattern, just regular double crochets and cable, double crochets and cable. When you reach row 33, you fasten off and you are done with one front panel. And now you're going to repeat exactly the same on the other side from row 26 to row 33. So you're going to count the same amount of uh, stitches after the cable, which was 16 if you remember. So count 16 stitches from the cable to the right and then join your yarn. And that is where you're going to begin to do the second front panel. So count 16 stitches from your cable and join with your yarn. Chain three. That will count as your first double crochet. And then you will have 15 double crochet until you reach your cable. Once you have your 15 double crochets, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a bit cold. You are going to make your cable as usual. So skip three stitches, front post treble crochets, and then a double crochet in the last chain. And you're going to turn around and then you're going to do your next row and you're going to decrease after your cable. So you're going to do your cable, then you're going to do a double crochet and then a decrease. And you're going to repeat exactly the same thing as you did for the other side of the panel until you reach the end of your row 33 where you will fasten off. And now time to work on your back. You're done with the two front panels. You're going to take your stitch markers and you are going to count four stitches from each side of the panel. So here is the right side, count four stitches and in the fifth, put a stitch marker and do the same from the other side panel. You have your right, the right side of your work facing you. So this is the front panel, the right side front panel. You placed your stitch marker in the fifth stitch from that front panel and you are going to join your crochet hook in that stitch. And what you're going to do for the first row of your back is double crochet until you reach the other stitch marker you had placed at the fifth stitch from the other side panel. And that will be the first row of your back. Make 
make your last double crochet inside the stitch you had put the stitch marker you have four stitches left to reach the other side panel chain three turn your work around and for your second row of your back, we are going to decrease at the beginning of your row and at the end of your row. So you're going to chain three, make a double crochet, and turn the next two stitches into one. Same way I showed you before. Then you're going to double crochet all the way to the end of your second row. And once you have four stitches left, you're going to decrease, turning the two next stitches into one. Double crochet and double crochet in the last stitch. You are done with your second row. Chain three. Turn your work around and now row 3 to 8 will be rows of double crochet back and forth, back and forth to finish your back. Once you reach the end of your 8th row, you are not going too fast enough because we are going to uh, slip stitch to assemble the shoulders. So place your uh, work wrong side facing you. And you can do that with a tapestry needle. I like to do it with my crochet hook. I place stitch to stitch beginning from the armhole opening side. And I slip stitch through both of the sides of my work, matching stitch to stitch all along the front panel and the back of my work. You had 14 double crochets. What we're going to do is assemble 12 of those 14 stitches together. So the 12 stitches of your front panel with 12 stitches of your back. And you are going to leave the two stitches before your cable free and your cable as well. Alright, take your scissors and fasten off and then you will repeat the same exact thing for the other side of your shoulder, the other side of your work. So assembling together either with your crochet or your tapestry needle, doing 12 stitches, assembling together to create the shoulder and then leaving two stitches and your cable free. And those are left there so we can create the hoodie later. So now that you assembled those seams together, those shoulder seams, here is the opening for your arm. But before the arms, I will show you how to create the hoodie. So with your work right side facing you, you're going to slip stitch in the first stitch right there of your hoodie right before the cable and you're going to chain three it will count as your first double crochet and then you're going to make the cable as usual in pattern so skipping three stitches and making three front post treble crochets and going back to the three stitches you have skipped the same way we have done cables till now because you want a cable Continuing from the front of your work, of your cardigan, all the way up seamlessly to your hoodie. And that is what you're doing right now. Okay? So you're done with your cable. And then to create your hoodie, we are going to pick up stitches from uh, your work, from the side of your collar. So the way you're going to do it is make one double crochet in the next stitch. And then in the same stitch, make another one. Now 
then pick up another double crochet and then in the next stitch pick up two double crochets and a repeat in the next stitch a double crochet so that's one part here we go and then in the next stitch two double crochets then you are right there in the back of your neck and you're going to continue to do like that one double crochet in one stitch and then two in the next That's the seam, the second seam right there. Then on the other side of your front, continue two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets until you reach your second cable. And you're going to do the cable as usual. Skipping three stitches, etc., etc. And that is the first row of your hoodie. We increased a few stitch because you want your hoodie to be wide enough to cover your head comfortably. All right, first row of your hoodie um, done. For the second one, make a double crochet in the last stitch, of course, as usual. And then you're going to chain three, turn your work around, and we're going to tackle the second row of your hoodie. You're going to do your cable as usual. That's six back post treble crochets. For your second row of your hoodie, you're going to do your cable, then you're going to do two double crochets regularly. And then in the third, you're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. And that is what you're going to do all along that second row. So two regular double crochet, a, cro a double crochet in the next two stitches, and then in the third, two double crochets in the same stitch. And you will do that all along that second row until you reach your cable. Then you'll do your cable, double crochet, and you're done with your second row. At the end of the second row of your hoodie, you had 22 stitches in total between your cables. Row three is going to be a row of increase again, but a little differently. So you're going to do your cable as usual. This is the front post treble crochet. And then you're going to make two double crochets, one and two, and then two double crochets in the third stitch. Then you're going to make six double crochets. And then in the seventh stitch, you're going to make two double crochets in the same stitch. Then you're going to make two double crochets, one in the next two stitches. And then two double crochets in the next stitch. 
reshaping your hoodie a little. And then you're going to make a double crochet in the next six stitches. Two double crochets in the next stitch. Come back to the center, Anu. Ay, ay, ay. And then you're going to make a double crochet in the next two stitches. And then your cable. And your double crochet in the last stitch. And just like that, you're done with the third row of your hoodie. See if you fold it in half like so from cable to cable, you can see the base of your hoodie taking shape. At the end of your third row, you will have 26 double crochets in between your cables. All right, let's continue to row four. For row four, you're going to do your beginning of the cable as usual. It's back post treble crochets. Then you're going to make two, one, two double crochets. And then you're going to make two double crochets in the next stitch, still increasing. Then instead of six double crochets, now you're going to make seven double crochets. So a double crochet in the next seven stitches. Then in the next stitch, you're going to make two double crochets, then a double crochet in the next two stitches, two double crochets in the next stitch. A double crochet in the next seven stitches. Two double crochets in the next stitch. A double crochet in the last three stitches before the cable. And then you're finishing your row with the cable as usual. And a double crochet in the last row. You will have 30 double crochet at the end of your fourth row in between your cables. The row five will be the last row of increase to your cable as usual, and then do three double crochets. And then in the next one, do two double crochets in the same stitch. And then you're going to proceed by making a double crochet in the next eight stitches. And then two double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to make three double crochets.
and then two double crochets in the same stitch in the next stitch and then eight double crochets Two double crochets in the next stitch and ending with three double crochets and your cable and a double crochet at the end of your fifth row you will have 33 double crochets in between your cables and now you continue back and forth until the end of your 13th row when you have your 13th row and you're done with it you're going to not fasten off you're just going to fold your hood in half and you're going to slip stitch assembling the top seam together of course on the wrong side of your work and you're going to sew in the loose tail and you are done with your hoodie now time to tackle the sleeves which will be crocheted in the round so you're going to switch back your work to the right side facing you you're going to go to the bottom of your sleeve you're going to join with any stitch I like to use the bottom corner and then you're going to pick up double crochets all around your sleeve I picked up 30 stitches in total around my sleeve opening. The most important thing is that you pick up the same amount of stitches on one sleeve than on the other. So 30 stitches was my magic number. Picking up stitches all around my armhole opening, 30 in total. And when I reach the first one that I addressed, the first chain three, where I had joined my yarn, I'm just going to slip stitch on top of the first chain three. So the sleeves will be crocheted in the round, rounds and rounds of double crochet. For my length of arm, I did 18 rows in total, and then I fastened off. And I will show you how to create the edging for the sleeves and also how to add pockets. If you want to, you could really leave your cardigan just like that. It's beautiful just the way it is. I just wanted to show you how to add pockets. You can add one pocket, two pockets. It's your choice. You are in control. Take your crochet hook at your yarn and make a slip knot. And your yarn and make a slip knot. And then you're going to proceed by chaining. Chained 15 in total. Make a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. And you're going to make a single crochet all along your first row. At the end of your first row, you will have 14 stitches in total.
Done with your first row, chain one, turn your work around and make a second row of single crochet. At the end of your second row, you will still have 14 stitches in total. Chain one and turn your work around. And now we are ready to begin to create this 3D mock braid that is so cute, you'll see. So sorry about my voice, I am still fighting my bronchitis. Single crochet in the first stitch. Then you're going to chain three. And you're going to skip one, two stitches. And you're going to make a single crochet in the third stitch. Turn your work to your left. And then in the chain, but in the back loop only, you're going to make one single crochet. And again in the next chain back loop only two single crochet. Next chain back loop only three single crochet. And then in the first single crochet you had made, you're going to slip stitch. You're going to make a single crochet. Turn your work right back to the left again. Then you're going to push that chain to the bottom. And you remember those two single crochets we had skipped? Right there. You are going to make a single crochet in each of those stitches. So you have two single crochets there. Two stitches. Awesome. Then you're going to chain three again. You are going to skip two stitches and make a single crochet in the next. Turn your work to your left, like that. And then again in the back loop of the chain, you're going to make a single crochet in each of the chain. Back loop only, one, and two, and three. And then in the next single crochet right there, you're going to make a slip stitch. Turn your work back to the left. And in those two single crochets you had skipped, push that chain to the bottom. And just right behind, go into the two stitches you had skipped and make a single crochet in each of them. So one and two. And that is the pattern to create that beautiful 3D little braid effect. Chain three, skip two stitches, single crochet in the next. Turn your work to the left, make a single crochet in each of the chain, back loop only. Slip stitch in the next single crochet again. Turn your work back to the left and then single crochet in the two stitches you had skipped. And that is what you're going to do all along your work until you reach the last stitch. And you're going to slip stitch in your last stitch. So you see how cute the braiding effect is? What you're going to do now is chain one and turn your work around. And I will show you what to do to get the same stitches number back because the rest of your work will be single crochet. We want to go back to the 14 stitches count you had at the beginning of your first row but you're missing a few stitches. So you're going to make two single crochets in that first stitch. Then you're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to pick up a single crochet right there in the next stitch that presents itself to you. Right there. Two single crochet in the next stitch, a single crochet in the next. And again, find your next single crochet, two single crochet in the next, 
one, two, a single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. So at the end of your row, you want to have 14 stitches again. So you're going to do that until the end of your row. And once you have 14 stitches in total, you turn your work around and you chain one. And now you're going to continue by making rows and rows of single crochet until you have the desired length of your pocket. For me, it was 14 rows in total. And I will meet you at the end of your 14th row. And this is what your pocket will look like. You're going to fasten off at the end of your 14th row. And you're going to make a second one that looks exactly just like that. If you want two pockets, of course, if you only want one pocket, then make only one. <laughs> now for finishing the sleeves, you could leave them just the way they are, but I'm going to do the same exact thing, the same exact 3D little braid, at the end of my sleeves. So I'm going to take my sleeve, I'm going to join at any stitch you want, chain one, and I'm going to make one round of single crochet all around. Super easy, right? And you can take the same crochet or you can take one size smaller if you would like your sleeve to be a little tighter at the end. All right, so one round of single crochet at the end of your first round slip stitch with the first single crochet you had made. Turn your work around, chain one, turn your work around. I know we're crocheting in the round, but you're going to turn your work around and make a second round of single crochet all around. And slip stitch with the first single crochet you had made. And then chain one, and again, turn your work around. We are at the third row. And for that third row, you're going to repeat the same pattern we had made for the pockets. So you're going to do one single crochet, you're going to chain three, skip two stitches one two single crochet in the third turn your work to the left make a single crochet in the back loop of each of the three chains slip stitch in the next uh, stitch Turn your work to the left again. And then make a single crochet in the two stitches you had skipped and continue like that all around in pattern, creating those beautiful 3D cable. Chain three, skip two stitches, one, two, single crochet in the next, turn your work to the left, etc., etc. And you're going to do that all around that third round. Voila, you are done. Basically what is left to do is to slip stitch at the end of your round and then take your scissors, fasten off, repeat to the other side, to the other sleeve and sew in all your loose tails and that is it my friends, you are done. Take your pockets and sew them to the side of your cardigan at the height you would like. This is the way I did it and that that is it amazing job i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as i have enjoyed creating it for you i am looking forward to many more as usual different sizes will be on my blog in a written pattern here is the link to my blog and this is the case for each and every one of my tutorials i get a lot of questions about sizes all the time and that is it they are there not different than any other times so see you next time in the meantime happy crochet bye oh bronchitis i have a little visitor and he's or her maybe a her actually name is bronchitis lovely isn't it it will have
Do 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 do. Um. What else can I tell you? <laughs> totally free. Click on the subscribe button. It's annoying. I'm taking it out. So, <clears throat> um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm dragging today. You comment in the info box. In the info box. I <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Hello, come my handsome. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hey. This girl's awesome. <laughs> she is so so awesome. Proud of her. Oh yeah, massage. Yeah. Yep. Oof. This this oh. is usually what we do when the camera's off. I just <laughs> massage her shoulders all day long. Like a good husband should. <laughs> Important that you wouldn't have someone so beautiful. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, but you cannot wear, you cannot wear shorts. Sweetie, it's really cold. Well, it was really nice meeting you, subscribers. <laughs> Bye. 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 Can you shut the door? Yes. Merci. Fermez la porte. Fermez la porte. So cute. Wow. I don't know what to say next. I think that's it. I feel like I forgot something. <coughs> what you are into interested in, what you are interested